Hey YouTube, this is Torktok here in another video, and today in this video we're doing a Thor 11 and Thunder video. So before I get started, I want to talk about my Instagram account, so it's Tork it's at TorkDogYT, so you can follow that if you want. Um, so yeah, there's this, this is just basically like theories, um, not, ne well, kind of theories, but like not necessarily my theories, but just what I've heard. Uh, and basically a little background for Mighty Thor, which will be Natalie Portman's Thor. So, Beta Ray Bill, apparently, he's like this like weird type of Thor, he's kind of like, almost like an alien. Um, he was apparently supposed to be in Thor Ragnarok, um, and they actually have, like, a, a pressure, so, in one of the fights, he's supposed to be, like, running with really good fighters, kind of like the Hulk was, um, and there's actually, like, a statue of him, uh, you can see, like, just his face and stuff, he's supposed to be there, but they cut him out from the movie for some reason, they actually filmed him in there, I don't know who the actor was, but yeah, um, so he has a hammer called Stormbreaker in the comics, so Thor might eventually give up Stormbreaker to him, and maybe they'll introduce Beta Ray Bill in Thor Love and Thunder. If you don't know what Beta Ray Bill looks like, you can search him up. So a little background for Mighty Thor. Um, she's the female version of Thor. So basically, in at least certain comics, um, Thor is not like the name. Thor is like a title. So it's like, I am Thor. I am a title. Like it's a title. Like I am the Lord. So it's kind of like that. Uh, or the king, you know what I mean? It's kind of like just like a title, and it's not his name. So it's like Thor doesn't really have a name then, um, in a way. So in the comic, Thor is a title, right? And uh, Mjolnir uh, chooses people, or like deems people worthy enough to hold him. Uh, which in the MCU, it's more of just uh, strength-wise. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure Vision was not worthy. And he picked up um, Mjolnir in Age of Ultron. And then Captain America, maybe he was worthy, but I don't know. He picked up Mjolnir. Mjolnir, is that how I say it? But yeah, he picked, he picked up the hammer. So I don't know if Captain America was worthy, but I'm pretty sure Vision was not. So it's more just like strength-based in the MCU, but in the comics, it's just like you being worthy. Um, and basically, Jane Foster, uh, Natalie Portman, um, she her character, she in the comics has cancer, and then she... For some reason, she's worthy, and then she gets the hammer, and then she like the cancer's gone and stuff. So maybe Jane Foster in the movie will have cancer, um, and maybe that's another reason why she's been gone for a long time. So um, yeah. By the way, Jane Foster's uh, or Natalie Portman's scene in Age of Ultron was actually a, I think Thor Ragnarok scene that they cut out, and then just added Rocket. Um, so she wasn't even part of the set really. They just kind of added that scene from Thor Ragnarok. Um, so yeah, basically, she's worthy. And yeah, so then apparently there has to be a Thor in Asgard. And, you know, since Asgard's, like, broke, destroyed, um, there's new Asgard, which is, like, on Earth. And Valkyrie, she's the queen, but she's not really uh, Thor, right? So there's going to, so I'm guessing Jane Foster's Thor, Mighty Thor is what, they're going to call her, because they also call her that in the comics, um, she's going to be in Asgard, and then she might be in some cameos, but she probably won't be a big character, she might get her own movie eventually, I don't know, I did talk about that in my, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 video, um, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 will take place after, um, Thor, Thor Love and Thunder, so Thor 4, um, because it'll be in Phase 5, because James Gunn right now is working on Suicide Squad 2, um, so he's not able to do Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, uh, because it's the whole thing where he got fired and stuff, and then he got rehired and everything, um, so yeah, uh, he won't, he won't be working on Volume 3 for a while, so that's why they moved it to Phase 5, so whatever happens with the original Thor and Thor Love and Thunder, um, like whether he dies or he joins Asgardians, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy forever, yeah, um, That'll, that'll be... So whatever happens in this movie will basically affect whatever happens in Volume 3 in some way with Thor. In some way. Um, so yeah, that'll be cool. Maybe in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 we'll see like Nova and stuff. Get some young Avengers in. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe, like for more, and bye, peace out. So, I have a video coming on uh, Doctor Strange in the, mat in the multi-universe and the Shang-Chi. Uh, so stay tuned. Peace out.